But you're going to get back up. <laughs> I hate to tell people to sit down because I know we're going to get back up in just a minute. One of the last times I was here, pastor had been preaching out of a Bible called The Message. How many of you ever heard of that interpretation, The Message? It's kind of a, a modern day uh, interpretation of the scripture so that somebody out here in the street Somebody that's never been churched could pick it up and read. You know, we get so used to the these and the thous and the King James. And we think that when God speaks and the word of prophecy comes forth, that if it's not, yea, thus saith the Lord, then it wasn't God. Y'all wouldn't know what to do if he showed up and said, yo, what's up? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yet we got a whole generation out here of people that don't understand the these and the thou. But they do understand, yo, what's up? I love it. Pastor Carlton Pearson tells a story of a, uh, of a little old lady that stood up in church and just began to give out uh, a message in tongues. And she went on and on and on and on. And one of the little old church mothers, about 88 years old, sitting on the front seat, been overcame didn't have a tooth in her head, just sitting there waiting. And when the woman got through, it got real quiet because nobody had an interpretation. Mother stood up and walked out and said, you better get your business right with God and went and sat down. <laughs> Somebody better get your business straight with God tonight. And you don't need much more than that, but just get it right. Come on, get it right. Get it right. Look at your neighbor and say, get it right. So I, ministering out in this 90s generation, if you will. Now, I love church and I love old church music. But I wrote a song for our 90s generation. And in fact, if you hear the new album, you will hear a wild maniac preacher on there preaching the same God that brought you in is about ready to kick the door open. And he ends it up by saying, if you believe it, shout because he's worthy. So I wrote a song to our 90s generation. It's time to dance and shout. Give me lots of volume, brother, with that track. Come on. All right. You told me that you wanted somebody to talk to. You told me that you needed a friend. You told me that you wanted somebody to stay with you. Somebody to stick with you to the end.
Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. You may be seated. <laughs> I won't make you get back up. Woo. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm ready to march right out in the pits of hell and sing that song. I'm going to tell you. Just not too long ago, I was singing right in the streets of Brooklyn and hearing guns going off while I'm standing up there singing. You know what? I'm ready to go do it again, and I'm ready to go tell the devil. Come on. You can get out of here because we're going to dance. We're going to shout. We're going to turn his praises out. We know that we're born again. We know that we've been bought by the blood of Hallelujah. Hallelujah.